<coughs> Good morning. Today is March 31st, 2024, Monday. We continue with Atanya, Rabbi Shneer Zalman. We're in chapter 32. And yesterday we talked about when can person, is person allowed to hate or contempt or at least uh, don't like somebody. And uh, the groups were, uh, somebody's real good friend, you know, very well observant. Then somebody who is observant, but you don't know him very well. And then somebody completely non-observant. And we discussed that, what attitudes should be, should be toward them. And in all cases, the attitudes should be love. Um, we disagreed a little bit, or extended Rambam definition that today, nobody can criticize people because we're not qualified to criticize. None of us are angels. So we came to that conclusion and we uh, kind of expounded on this a little bit. And that was our yesterday uh, recording. Uh, today, we're in chapter 33, and but 32 chapter uh, finishes with the fact that that is, if somebody's doing something, it doesn't affect us directly physically. I walk into the synagogue and I see somebody working on the engine, car engine on Saturday. What should be my thinking, attitude, feelings towards this person? Yesterday we discussed in depth what it is. Um, but the ends, what if somebody, we discussed it before too, what if somebody hurts you? And um, when you feel sorry for someone who harmed you, it tends to take away any hatred you might have for them. That's interesting, almost a little bit of Christian concept, I guess. I guess a human concept. So if somebody's hurt you, if you think about he or she, does, they're not aware of what they're doing. Their reach to their divine soul is so hidden, so covered by animalistic soul, by selfishness, by insensitivity, that they just, you pray, they'll get to that. They'll get to that point where the eyes are open and they'll become sensitive to you. So you feel sorry that the person is so insensitive that he or she doesn't help you, doesn't care for you, even if the person is close to you, close, your relative, your member of the family, your friend. <sighs> feel bad for that person. Uh, usually, it's not typical like a Western world understanding. Uh, you're going to retaliate, hit back. That's not what Tanya is saying. It's not exactly turn the other cheek. It's not that you are completely vulnerable. You still have to protect yourself, but you protect yourself from, you distance yourself from the person. Yes. But you're not going to hate this person. In fact, you will pray that the person will, will see the light, the light of div divinity, the light of God, the light that wants him to be good. So we'll make a little experiment today. Yesterday, when I was using concept, we're using this like a you know, when you went to college, you went to lectures, theory, and then there was a practical laboratory. So, like everybody, I have my own set of uh, physical uh, aches and pains and uh, emotional issues with uh, uh, sometimes a family or friends or whatever was life. And I was trying to apply Tanya to practice myself, and I thought maybe I'll share with you. Let's try it together. Tanya talks about a Kabbalistic concept of ten sfirot and the highest sphere chokhmah on the level beyond thought, feeling, beyond the thought, beyond the speech, beyond the action, on the feelings before that connection to God. When you look in the holy ark, I'm looking in the uh, curtain behind which in our synagogue there are Torah scrolls. This reflects kind of mirrors when the first, when first and second temple, well, second temple didn't actually have the ark, but the uh, uh, didn't have the, uh, but the first one did. And when you look at it, I mean, people felt the presence of God. I mean, they physically saw the uh, the cloud, physically manifested itself as a divine spirituality. Today, that's equivalent of that. And hopefully, when the temple is rebuilt will renew, that will be renewed as feelings. But when you look at even today, when you pray, when you go to uh, morning prayers, afternoon prayers, evening prayers, when you go to Amida, Shmono Esrei, 18 benediction, when you go to central prayers after Shema Israel, central prayers, 
if you can align yourself as if the curtain opens, as if you go right inside, and you saturate yourself with God, when God penetrates you completely, you, you become, I guess, like a yoga bliss. That's why I think in other religions there's also a concept of that closeness. It's not to become closer, but you become physically attached. The cloud comes out, the divine Shekhinah cloud, and penetrates you. And when you close your eyes, and when you pray, the rest of the congregation might be praying, wrote the same 18, 19 now blessings, one after another. And I've done it for many years. But if you try to, sometimes I would stop. I would not go through the same routines. I would just stop. And I'm thinking that how God can relieve my issues, how He can help me, how you, God, can help me. And yesterday I tried it. And a little, I have a little problem with my back, like my knee was hurting, I was limping slightly. And after that, it just disappeared. I just I feel great. Many of the doctors, uh, psychologists, probably would say, well, that's a referral pain, that's a mind of a matter. You can think of yourself, you, you can make anesthesia of your physicalities by the mental effort. Perhaps, perhaps you can make a rational um, explanation to that. And sometimes people feel it, I think, and they're afraid to share these feelings. But Torah says, Tell it to the people, discuss that, don't be afraid. But people, it's maybe a little prejudice, no prejudice, what do you call it, uh, superstition. That if I say that, and tomorrow the pain comes back and say, well, it was just, just a feeling. You kind of hypnotize yourself not to feel your knee pain, and now it's back again. I don't think that I need to be afraid of that. I don't think we need to be afraid of that. What happens, happens. What is, is. What was, was. What will be, we don't know. It will be. So we have to give credit for God, to God for small miracles and small gifts that He gives us every day, every day, every moment. And if He doesn't or doesn't appear to do, He has His reasons. Maybe His reasons is that we will evoke such a high feeling of attachment that at that point He will come and help us. So maybe His way, sometimes we have discomfort when we are quote-unquote, as we feel unloved or unappreciated or argued to or hurt one way or another. Maybe that's Hashem's way to bring us closer, to say, use your chokhmah, use your feeling of feeling, use your attribute of chokhmah to divine, to connect with Ein Sof, with infinite light. Uh, some can say it's too lofty concept. Is it really easy for everybody to do? Is it on the level of tzaddikim, on the level of a very special people? I think Tani is telling us in the level of everybody. Maybe sometimes, you know, we bang against the wall when there's a door. You can open and walk right through and be in unity with God, with unity with Hashem. And yet, we think there's some magic. Like people joke, Israelis often after, after the army, uh, before they go into the industrial world, they go to Tibet, they go to Singapore, go to Vietnam, all these places, mountains, to look for God thousands of miles away, thousands of kilometers away. Where? <laughs> it is right here in Israel. The holy air, the breeze, is there. So let's try that experiment. Let's make a lab work. Let's today, maybe reverse the time. Now it's a six o'clock in the morning, actually 10 minutes after six already on Monday. Make believe at the same time so you can experience the same feeling as I do. Close your eyes and be quiet. And imagine that your attribute of Chochmah is lines up and unites, merges with the Almighty. And hopefully your back pain goes away. Your shoulder doesn't hurt. You cure your asthma or any other disease that will help. Nezat Hashem with God help. I hope it works for you. This will replace our thoughts, speech, 
connection was quiet connection. Feel it. Yom Tov. Have a great day. See you tomorrow. Same time. 6 o'clock in the morning. Israel time.